I'm Gloria. I lived a pretty normal life until I met a man named Christopher. He was pretty attractive, so when he asked me out on a date, I said yes. He was so sweet to me and I fell in love with him. We dated for a year until he finally asked me to marry him. I did, and we enjoyed a very happy life together, just the two of us. But soon after our honeymoon was over, Christopher began to change. Hey, where's my beer? Didn't I tell you to get more at the store today? Or are you so stupid you forgot already? I'm sorry. I'll run out and get some right away. He kept yelling at me for forgetting small things, like to pick up more beer or cleaning the house. I started to feel scared around him, like he wasn't the man I thought he was. But I was still determined to try and make our marriage work out, so I stayed with him. But it only got worse over time, and soon I felt more like a maid than his wife. I cleaned up after him, did the chores, and tried to make him happy so he wouldn't shout at me anymore. He barely took me out on dates. Every day after work, he'd just flop onto the couch and watch TV. Finally, I had enough. I let him know that I wasn't going to take any more of this. You're not the man I married. You don't respect me and everything I do for you. If you don't smarten up and fix your attitude, I'm leaving you. Oh, really? You're leaving me? You're worthless anyway. No one else would ever want to date you. So good luck finding anyone willing to put up with you. Honestly, you should be thanking me for even letting you live here. I was heartbroken. I couldn't believe what Christopher had told me, but part of me did. I started to think I was worthless and had nowhere else to go. So I stayed with Christopher for a while longer. After that day, things only got worse. He started to hit me and throw me around if he didn't get what he wanted. He started to drink more and more too, and I felt trapped. No matter where I went, I couldn't escape Christopher. But then the impossible happened. I, I'm pregnant? No way. Sure enough, I was showing signs of pregnancy, so I bought a test and tested myself. I was already almost done with the first trimester. I thought that this would be great. Finally, Christopher would love me now that I was carrying his child. I couldn't wait to tell him. That night, when he came home from work, I gave him the surprise. What's this? I don't want to take care of any brats. I thought we agreed not to have any kids. You idiot. How could you betray me like this? Then he slapped me across the face. I was too stunned to speak, but Christopher continued to hit me, pulling my hair and hitting my face and arms. When he was done, he grabbed another beer and settled down in front of the TV, grumbling about how ungrateful I was to him. I decided I'd had enough, so that night I planned my escape. After Christopher went to sleep, I gathered my stuff to leave. I'd rather take my chances anywhere else but here. But as I got ready to leave, I accidentally dropped something and it loudly clattered to the ground. I held my breath and heard Christopher in the other room getting up. Gloria, what's going on? I told you never to interrupt my sleep. When he saw my packed bag, Christopher realized what was going on and it made him furious. You ungrateful little... Do you know how much I do for you? And you're trying to leave me? This is because of that brat baby, isn't it? I'll show you what happens to the people who try to cross me. That night was the worst of them all. He kept beating me and hitting me all over. I fell to the floor trying to protect myself and he kept kicking my stomach. I was in tremendous pain. My whole body hurt. Finally, he stopped when he realized how hurt I was. And if you try to leave again, I'll kill you. You understand me? Christopher dragged me to the car then took me to the hospital where the doctors immediately began to treat my wounds. I could hear Christopher explaining to them what happened before they moved me to a private room. I found her like this. I think she got mugged on her way home. Isn't that right, honey? I agreed with him before the doctors took me away to run some tests. They looked at my face and arms and bandaged up all the bruises and cuts. But then the doctors gave me the heartbreaking news. They told me that I wasn't pregnant anymore. Christopher had killed my baby with his abuse. I was heartbroken and furious. Christopher was in the waiting room, ready to pick me up from the hospital, but I knew I would never go back to him after what he did. When I had the chance, I pulled a nurse aside and told her what was going on. She told me she could help me, so I waited for my chance. I watched through a window as the nurse approached Christopher and started to talk to him. Oh no. She didn't believe me, and she was telling Christopher about everything. I could only close my eyes and wait. But after a minute, nothing happened. Christopher hadn't angrily burst in to yell at me. 
I took another look and saw that the nurse had actually taken him to fill out some forms with his back turned to the doors. She noticed me in the window and gave me a thumbs up. Quickly, I snuck past Christopher and out of the hospital. I never looked back, just kept running. I'm still saddened by what happened to me, but I'm glad Christopher isn't in the picture anymore. I ran from the city and returned to my hometown in another state where Christopher wouldn't be able to find me ever again. One day I called Christopher and he was furious I had disappeared. I sparked up a conversation about the miscarriage and what happened. Christopher claimed to be sorry and explained it was all my fault that he beat me up that night. But what he didn't know was I was recording everything, which I sent to the police as evidence, along with Christopher's address. He has been locked up and won't do this to any other woman. I hope I will have another baby with a man who will treat me right and I'll be a happy mother. I haven't heard from Christopher since then. My wounds are recovering well, but I don't know if I'll be dating again anytime soon. Thanks for watching.